Boat gang, boat gang, we don't need no wheels. All we need is blades to throw a rooster tail, huh? B for boat gang, baby. Welcome back to the channel, huh? Welcome back to Ironclad RC. We got this Pro Boat Sonic Wake 36 Deep V Mono Hole Boat on the freaking block, all right? Uh, we're going to be doing some major, major overhauling today, okay? Major overhauling. We got a fly color 150 to drop in. A 4074 2000 kV SSS motor. Uh, this motor was donated to the channel. Uh, Mark's Boat Works. Thank you, brother. Thank you very much. He's got a YouTube channel. Go check him out. All right, this is basically a big block compared to the motor that's in the boat right now. Okay, uh, we're going to drop this bad boy in. I'm going to show you guys how to modify the motor mount to make a big block fit okay that should give us some more power more power more speed i'll show you guys how to make an ironclad esc mount for the sonic wake custom easy cheap stick around stick around all right big b here with ironclad rc boat gang boat gang This boat freaking comes box stock, like ready to go right out the freaking box. All right, uh, it's got all dynamite electronics, 3674, 1900 kV, four pole brushless motor. All right, 120, 6S capable dynamite speed control. It's ready to go right out the freaking box, boys. Um, it really, it really don't need the upgrade okay it really don't need it it's it's good to go uh 50 plus miles an hour out the box you guys freaking know me you guys freaking know me uh, i'm like tim the freaking tool man taylor all right I, more power more power all right so um i think i think this 4074 is gonna be freaking perfect um had a few subscribers uh recommend this motor for for this boat all right i was gonna throw it in the pro boat u19 or my delta force 35 but uh why not why not man um that the heavier the heavier motor all right it's gonna do this boat some good in more ways than one all right we're gonna get some some uh more power out of it all right we're gonna get some more weight toward this transom of the boat which is a freaking plus and uh we should see some higher top speeds all right um once we get this motor out the boat once i get this 3674 not, uh, 1900 kV out the boat we're going to throw it in the UL19 one day just for shits and giggles uh, this has a 6 pole 2000 kV 6 pole 3650 alright it's basically apples and oranges alright so it'll be a cool little test one day to see how uh, the difference in motors 6 pole 4 pole 19 2000 you know just just see the difference in, in, in performance get the dynamite 36 and the 120 out so we can start prepping up the motor mount to accept this freaking big block all right uh so yeah i'm gonna break the collet loose the head screws the, the front motor mount screws and pull the esc done all right let's get to it so i got the stock electronics out all right uh the dynamite and the stock motor okay um this is the upgrade motor the big block is what i'm calling it the big block so we're going to actually start modifying this motor mount okay you guys can see that this big block's definitely not going to fit in that stock um motor motor support okay it's definitely not going to fit in there we basically need to take off like what four millimeters all the way around this okay so it will seat down in that motor mount all right um i really hate to do this i really hate to do this but it's the only way we're going to put the big block in this boat um this big block it's uh it's quite a bit heavier and we'll get a weight before we put everything in the boat we'll get a weight uh you know with the stock electronics and the upgrade electronics um and I, and I and I and I get I get why that they put this 36 series motor in this boat. It's lightweight. You guys know boats like to be light. They like to be light. All right. So 532 grams. All right. 532 grams for the stock electronics, the upgrade electronics. Is 
quite a bit heavier all right 642 grams so um what is that in pounds so about one six so not much heavier it's not much heavier all right uh let's just do the motor we want we want more weight on the back of the boat okay so 376 430 yeah man yeah that's gonna do the boat some good this bigger motor back there get the weight toward the stern on this mono all right so um i'm gonna use this drum sander on my drill um to get to squirrel away some of this material she sits on there nice all right so um you guys know what i'm doing let's get to it let's get to it okay Boom! Huh? Yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it to house the 40 millimeter motor. Okay, I, it's not big enough to house the 40 millimeter water jacket yet. All right, but it actually fits this motor perfect. Okay, and I'm thinking. What I'm thinking, boys. What I'm thinking is if we uh, if we stop here. All right, and I, I think I've got a short water jacket for this motor. If we stop here it's going to be easier to put a shim under like a 36 series motor if i ever decide to put a 36 series motor back in the boat i could just put a little small shim in there to support the front of the motor can all right so let's see if we got a short water jacket for this motor all right i keep all my electronics in this box right here all right oh i'm working on the some uh fiberglass ride pads for the rigger all right I'm, uh, I've got it tapered in the back on the back of the rod pad there so the water flicks off that'll be coming up here shortly got, I'm working on that um, let's see what we got here this this doesn't work everything else in here works except for that um, I got a 40 I got a 40 short somewhere in here hobby star I believe oh there it is geez I'm an idiot really like the color of this uh cooling jacket and we may run the cooling jacket and i just take some more material off but um trying to go minimal like i said I could, i'll be able to shim it up a little bit easier if i decide to put a, a small block back in so this 40 short should should work perfect all right should work perfect let's compare nipples so check out these three jackets all right hobby star stock motor and then the bits jacket all right uh, the hobby star has the biggest of the three the black one the middle one has the second biggest almost just as big as the hobby star and that's the stock motor right there all right the boat bits has a small hole okay um so i think i'm going to go with the hobby star all right i'm going to go with the hobby star final answer final decision done i like to use a little bit of oil on my o-rings when i put my water jacket on the mo on the motor um, just put a little bit of oil. All right, make sure there's no debris in the jacket. Yeah, yeah, see, that'll work. That way we don't have to take off so much material, man. It'll be, like, super easy to shim up. Looks like it's going to line up to the shaft real good. Okay. So the motor's um, pretty much pretty much done. All we got to do is throw the hardware in, boom, done. All right, we've got the, uh, the stock ESC here, okay? The stock ESC basically sits on those two mounting posts right there, all right? You screw it down. Um, the, the upgraded ESC that I'm using, it does not have any kind of mounting um, options, all right? We have to basically double side tape it down, like over here which I don't want to do that. It's going to be too much weight on the right-hand side of the boat inducing torque roll. Um, so I'm going to use the stock location. All right, so we need to come up with a, uh, a, clever, a clever way to mount it. All right, an ironclad mounting solution.
I'm like a freaking woman, boys. I'm like a woman. I cannot make my mind up. Um, I've got a few different options for an ESC mounting tray. All right, I've got a cutting board here. It's kind of thick. I've got a thinner cutting board, piece of fiberglass, gel coated fiberglass. I can't make my mind up which one I want to use for my ESC mount. All three of them would be good. All three of them would be perfect. Um, I was trying to come up with an easy, cheap solution for you guys to mount an ESC in the boat. All right. Something you can make at home. Um, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about with this one right here. It's already done. That's probably what I'm going to use. But um, I've got these little spacers right here. They're like a plastic spacer. All right. That I've actually notched the bottom of. Okay, those little notches are going to go over these little plastic rails right here. All right, like so. Boom. Okay, basically what I'm doing is making a, enlarging this post so it gives us a little bit more surface to mount our ESC onto. Okay, uh, if we were just to screw this ESC tray onto the, the post, without these spacers it would uh it, it may want to like teeter totter i guess so um i think that these spacers will will help uh give the the esc mount a little little more rigidity that way we don't have to cut our boat okay leave it stock in case we want to put the stock esc back into it um my dilemma is what i want to use for my esc tray all right um I've got a piece of fiberglass here. Let's do some weights, okay? The fiberglass or carbon fiber would be ideal, okay? This, you, you want a thick piece, thick, so we can countersink the holes so that the screws don't rub on our ESC. You got me? All right. Um, so that's why I'm using a thick piece of fiberglass opposed to a thin piece. Uh, the weight, almost 10 grams, all right? The cutting board is eight grams. That's pretty light. And this thing, these cutting boards are cheap and they're tough. And uh, they, they make great parts options. You know, you can make parts out of cutting boards. Pretty good. Pretty easy. And uh, this one's thick. It's like 13. So we're not going to use that. But um, it would look best. It would actually look the best in the boat. That, that gray. But you're not going to see it. You're not going to see it with the ESC sitting on top of it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so I think I'm going to go with the lightest option. All right. This piece of cutting board. Okay. I've, uh, countersunk my holes, some screws here. All right. That I've cut to size. This is important. You guys make sure you cut your screws to size. You don't want to screw your screw into this. All right. And it protrude to the bottom of the boat. All right. You'll, you'll, that's not good. Okay, so make sure your screws are the right size when you're mounting up your ESC tray. All right, so I'm going to get it bolted up, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. We're just going to zip tie the ESC right on, okay? That thing's ironclad, son. That thing is ironclad. That ain't going nowhere, y'all. Look at that. Huh? Those... those post shims freaking help support the the esc tray all right that thing's freaking ironclad huh <laughs> i've um i've got my motor screwed up all right i've got loctite on the head screws i've got these screws tightened down my grub screws on the collet have loctite I I grind my grub screws flat, all right? I shorten them up quite a bit to reduce rotational mass, all right? It helps prevent excessive vibrations in the in the system. Okay, I do that to all my my driveline grub screws, okay? Um I had to actually take a little bit more off of this area here, you know, actually on this side so that it lines up with my shaft. That just so you guys know, I didn't get it right the first tr first try. I, I had to actually go back and sand a little bit more. But um, I got the motor installed, the ESC trays installed. Um, I've got my cap pack just like very lightly zip tied onto my 
my cooling tube on the other side of the ESC. All right, uh, this is a fly color 150 that I basically, I basically made it a an offshore electrics 150 using their cat pack. All right, offshore electrics cat pack with the fly color. So uh, yeah, man, it's actually turning out pretty good. We're gonna get these motor wires hooked up here and get some power going to it. I need to calibrate my DX5 rugged with this ESC so we'll do that as well I know the video is long you guys um, I apologize man it's hard to fit all this information into a little short freaking five five minute long video I apologize for the long video but um yeah yeah let's get it uh let's get it let's get it hooked up all right see what she sounds like <laughs> She's iron cladded out, son. Got the big block in. All right, we got our iron clad motor mount. Okay, that ain't going nowhere. There's no teeter totting. Okay, that's solid. That's solid, son. She's iron cladded out. Build it iron clad. Y'all ready? <laughs> All right, that's enough of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, son, yeah, we got her iron cladded out, boy. Hey, uh, Marks, Drone Works, basically donated the motor to the channel. If it wasn't for you, Marks, we couldn't have iron cladded the Sonic Wake out. So, I most definitely appreciate it, brother. I most definitely appreciate it. I didn't use the Boat Bits uh, jacket, you know. Um, I figured that short jacket would work a little bit better with the modification that we had to do. Like I said, we could maybe drop the 3674 back in there at one point or another, you know, to try out this with the 150 fly color. Okay. Um, in my last video, uh, Mark's also donated the, the trim tabs. By the way, this stuff was brand new, man. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Um, this is what these trim tabs, this is the Blackjack 42 trim tabs. That's what they look like on the Sonic Wake. All right. Pretty big. They're pretty big. Uh, G-Man had asked about that. All right. They're for the 42. And they, they, would, they would almost be perfect for this boat if it wasn't for the the really high mounting bracket you know blocking off the flood chamber um but yeah man i hope you guys learned something we uh show you guys how to drop a, a big block in your in your sonic wake an ironclad esc mount we'll uh we'll give it a test run in the next video with the sonic wake um yeah man yeah build it ironclad have fun with it you know build it the way you want to freaking build it um We'll see you guys next time, all right? I've already wasted enough of your time. Go build something. Go freaking build something, all right? Go run a boat. <laughs> Big B here with Ironclad RC. Huh. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. <laughs>